All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. Back behind the wheel, heading out of London for the first time in over 18 months, I was off out to this year's Buxton Bash in Derbyshire in England. Having to be cancelled last year because of COVID, the event had to be rescheduled from its usual slot to the end of July, now that some of the COVID restrictions have been lifted. Sadly, I left London in the rain, and it stayed with me the whole journey until I arrived at the event amidst wind and heavy grey skies. Not the type of weather you'd usually expect to find at this time of year when we would say it was the height of summer. A few of the club members had come up a day early and by the time I arrived there was already a fair few familiar faces there and the station was already set up and running. And it was great to see some old friends again after so long, especially one club member who had come from Belfast in Northern Ireland again this year. As in previous years, the guy who was responsible for the club station had bought up his Kenwood TS590 and Acom power amp that has served us well in Buxton in previous years. Spotting a gap in the weather late in the afternoon, I grabbed the opportunity to get my tent erected and get my own little camp set up for the weekend. As in previous years, I've bought my camp bed, extra warm sleeping bag and cooking stove with me, and based on the weather we were having, I was glad I did. Once that was all done, I went back into the hall and the guys were hard at work manning the key and calling CQ, although at that point in the weekend there wasn't a great deal of signals out there. So I wandered back outside to speak to my fellow campers and it was also a chance to check what antennas people had brought up with them and check out the wagons some of these guys used to go out DX in. The prize for the best portable setup for the weekend, as usual, went to the guy who was running the club station for the weekend with his 40 foot mast. This year he'd built a new four element delta, which he'd christened the Buxton Beast. It did look quite imposing atop the mast. During lockdown the owners of the hall had taken the opportunity to do some much needed renovation work, which included new furniture, a fresh coat of paint everywhere, and even installed central heating which came in very useful even though it was the end of July in the UK when the sun should be shining and the sky be blue. They'd even taken the opportunity to renovate the old British phone box which almost looked as good as new with a fresh coat of paint although the old payphone inside had long since been removed. Back indoors the guys were still working the radio although it was a lot quieter than usual which was also true of the number of people who travelled up for the weekend possibly dissuaded because of the concerns about Covid or from the poor weather reports that warned people it was not going to be the balmy summer sunshine we were all hoping for. Later in the evening it was time to fire up the barbecue. This year they'd arranged a hog roast, but not just any hog roast. One of the club members had donated one of his own pigs from his small holding and a butcher friend of his had portioned them up so he could fit on the barbecue. There was even photos of Charlie the pig being shown around so you could get to know your evening meal in person. Whilst Charlie was cooking, the guy who had built the Buxton Beast had pulled up his antenna building software and was sharing his knowledge with other club members who also had an antenna projects of their own. The rain lingered on through the evening. So it was an evening indoors around the radio where I was also introduced to a new friend known as Gentleman Jack which helped a lot in keeping me warm on a chilly night camping. But from that point in the evening, things remained a little blurry. Although it had been raining most of the night, I did have a very cosy night under canvas, and although still windy, the following morning the sun was trying its best to come out and show its face. One of the club members from up north had brought his gas barbecue with him and was taking care of breakfast for everyone who got to enjoy bacon and sausage in a bun along with their morning coffee. A club member from Hungary had made contact through the forums and we did our best to reach him on the agreed frequency. Charlie 
But despite our best efforts, we couldn't get him in the box. There was a chance to see a rare bit of blue sky and with the cloud cover being blown away we got to enjoy some of the beauty of the surroundings we were in and we had a chance to have a better look at the Buxton Beast at work on top of the tower. Whilst walking around the site I stopped in to see one of the club members who had bought a new icon radio which really caught my eye. This is a lovely little portable called the IC705 which has been running on 20 meters and he's been very successful with it on a number of summits on the air events. Indeed, even while we were speaking, he was getting signals from Brazil from our windy spot on the hill. It wasn't too long before Charlie made another appearance and we all started looking forward to that evening's barbecue. While we were waiting, a couple of the guys pulled out their drones and we all watched them have a bit of a fly about in the open countryside. Before it got dark, we all got together for the annual Buxton Bash photograph. Signals had been coming in through most of the weekend and we logged stations from all across Europe as well as there being an opening from South America and quite late in the evening we were still catching people in the UK. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it does sound very, very good broadcast quality. So yeah, thumbs up on that one. Yeah, same here, running the, uh, running the homebrew uh, four element quad, seems to be working well, so, and a bit of power seems to be working as well, so like you say, it's going to be a nuisance to make yourself heard, over. That evening I was introduced to another new drink for me and as on the Friday night I got to enjoy the warming effects this time of a fine Scottish malt. When I got out of my tent on Sunday morning the kitchen had been reopened and there was more bacon, sausage and eggs for anyone that wanted them and if nothing else it did a great job of taking the edge off my hangover. As the morning drew on people slowly started to pack their things away and head home but there was time to reflect on another excellent Buxton bash even though the weather had been pretty poor it was great to meet up again after so long and we we're all making plans already to meet up at the next year's Buxton bash. Thanks to everyone who put the event together this year and I look forward to seeing you all again at the next Buxton bash.